Hey there everyone, it's your homegirl Ramsey here, and I would like to chat about a cookie decorating fundamental, which is royal icing consistency. In every cookie set you see scrolling across right now, I use three main consistencies. Flood, medium or toothpaste, and stiff or stiff-ish. <laughs> I don't count my icing to figure out the consistency anymore. I mainly just achieve it by sight and feel. It definitely took some practice and lots of trial and error to get to that point, but these particular consistencies have saved me tons of headache. Now, before we dive in, a little disclaimer. Everyone has different preferences with cookie decorating. There's no right or wrong way, so always do what works best for you. And in this video, I'm sharing what has worked best for me. What you see here is how my icing looks straight out of the mixer. As you can see, it is stiff, but it's not super stiff. The peaks on the spatula don't really stand straight up. They fold over just a bit, but it'll still hold its shape really well. Some like their icing much stiffer than this, but this is just how I personally like to start with my royal icing consistency. From here, I can work it down to flood. Also, always cover your bowl with a wet towel to prevent your icing from drying out. So once again, this is just another visual of a little bit of stiff icing scooped out of the mixing bowl. What I use stiff icing for is to pipe florals or outline all of my cookies before I flood them. And as you can see, as I tilt the bowl here a little bit, there's zero give or slide to this stiff icing. Next, I'm going to mix the medium or toothpaste consistency by adding in very small amounts of water until I've reached the right level. I know I've reached the right consistency here when the icing still holds its shape for a good while, but smooths out after some good shakes of the bowl, as you'll see here in just a bit. It's called toothpaste consistency because it's still on the thicker side, but it'll eventually smooth out with a little more scribe work and shaking. Also, when you tilt the bowl, medium consistency icing will slide just a little bit. If it doesn't slide at all, you need to add a tad more water. If it slides too easily or too fast, that means you've added too much water. So just throw in some more stiff icing to thicken it back up and go from there. Do you see the puffy berries and leaves here? And the puffy text here? Medium or toothpaste consistency is perfect to use for text and other details like this. But make sure you pipe it on the top of a base that has already crusted but not dried all the way. This helps to keep that puff and prevent those pesky craters. Last up comes the flood consistency. This is going to be your thinnest and runniest icing consistency. Flood icing is used mainly to cover the face of your naked cookies before adding any details on top. It's achieved by simply adding water. Some like their flood to be on the thicker side where less water is used but if you prefer it thinner, just add more water until it fits your preference. As you can see, when you tilt a bowl filled with flood icing, there is a very quick slide to the icing. Remember, this consistency takes the longest to dry, so keep that in mind when handling your flooded cookies. If you put these three different consistencies in baggies and press your finger to each of them, you can easily tell which is which. The print is visible the longest in the stiff baggie and fades almost immediately in the flood baggie. Of course, the medium print is in between. This is just another way to visually see the difference between stiff, medium, and flood consistency royal icing. 
So I know those who use the same consistency to both outline and flood their cookies may think it's extra work to use these different consistencies to do so, and that's okay. However, I almost always will need all three of these consistencies somewhere in the full process of decorating a set. So that's why it's just beneficial to me to go ahead and create them from the get-go. In the end, I feel like it saves me so much time. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope this helped you. And if it did, subscribe for more.